On March 27th, the Indian military conducted a anti-satellite test against one of their own satellites in orbit, uh, demonstrating themselves to be the fourth state with such a capability. Uh, the Indian government claimed that this uh, activity was both a tremendous military feat and entirely responsible and stabilizing in outer space. While the first claim is entirely true, the second not so much. Uh, this was an action that was aimed at regional rival China and at domestic political audiences, but it has global implications um, that in my mind make it reckless. The first is debris. When you explode something in orbit with kinetic force, debris spews everywhere. Uh, while a lot of this will no doubt uh, be short-lived, there are nonetheless uh, risks to human life on the International Space Station, where there are currently six astronauts uh, in orbit, as well as to other spacecraft, and it only takes a single piece of debris um, to cause a lot of damage. The second is because of uh, military rivalries and tensions in outer space. Um, questions about how and if we should restrict the use of force in outer space have been unresolved for decades, and this test came at the same time that experts were meeting in Geneva to discuss a way forward on this issue and um, might further hinder um, efforts in that regard. And the last one is proliferation. Uh, India proudly proclaimed that you know this anti-satellite test puts it in an elite club of major space powers. And that sends a message that to have power in outer space and to be among the elite means that you demonstrate a weapons capability and can incentivize others to do the same, much as we've seen with uh, nuclear weapons and the proliferation of those. And that could have even more dangerous consequences in the future. So in my mind, I think it's important for states to start speaking up and speaking out on this action.